Hello guys, today I am going to show you how to model a simple glass object using a spin tool. I have here my default blend scene and I am going to delete the cube and add a plane object. Which I will then press N and rotate at 90 degrees around, X, around the X axis. Press 1 then 5 to go to the orthographic view and tap into edit mode. First I will delete these two top vertices and select the bottom left one. I will then press shift S for this snap menu and select cursor to selected. And then I will tap out of edit mode and press origin, origin to 3D cursor. And now I'll set the location on the X axis to zero. Tab into edit mode. And now I can start modeling. Let's just say I'll make this a little bit smaller. Extrude along Z a little bit. Extrude again along X. and then extrude to make this kind of curve or kind of a curve effect the glass, the glass would be curving here at the bottom something like that uh, yeah I think that's nice and then extrude along Z to about 2.8 or something like that. Then extrude again. Yeah, something like that. To make it curve a little bit. Actually what I'm creating is kind of a martini glass, something like that, but this option is very useful for pretty much any kind of glass and also for bottles, especially if you don't need a so detailed one, you don't need a complex glass. Let's just say you need something simple which is not so visible on the rendering. So this option is very useful because it's quite fast and easy to use. Again curve it a little bit. Okay. And now with this vertex selected set the x to 0. Ok, this is pretty much the shape. Actually I'll make this a little bit smaller. Something like that. Yeah, I think that's fine. You can just model it in what shape you want. I choose the martini glass because it's not so hard. Alright. And now, before we use the spin tool, we must, uh, we must look at the cursor because the cursor is very important. The spin tool spins around the cursor. So I'm going to select this vertex here. Shift S and cursor to select it. So now the glass spins around the middle point of the modeling so far. Press 7. Alright. Select all the vertices. And then press spin. So the default, uh, let me make this bigger. The default rotation is 90 degrees with 9 steps. I will just choose 360 degrees 
and here you can choose how many steps you want the more steps the the nicer will look the glass and more smoother but also the more uh, the more faces it will have I will choose 32 for this demonstration so it will not be so it, there will not be so much faces okay actually I think this is quite thick so let me just scale this down a little bit okay something like that okay that looks better and now actually because we have made it a rotation 360 degrees the first vertices will be actually the last one will be over the first ones so we have in this area we have uh, two vertices to here to here on the whole loop although we can actually see them so to remove them select all the vertices press ctrl V to go to vertices menu and select remove doubles and here we see that we have removed 80 vertices okay this is pretty much done I'm just gonna I'm just gonna smooth it a little bit smooth so it's smooth it all although that's not pretty much what I wanted I want this edges here to be sharp so I'll just tap into edit mode loop select uh, this one control E mark sharp loop select this one control E mark sharp all right then go to the modifier panel add modifier edge split modifier all right so now this looks better you can do the same for the bottom two edges but I in my modeling I think this is this looks better okay let's just set this to 40 no, 45. All right, 50. I set that to 50. You see here, it smoothed it because if it's 40, this doesn't look very nice. So I will raise it up to 50. Okay, that looks better. Of course, that, of course, that you can model this further like let's just say select this and grab it move it up a little bit like that a little bit more no that of course you can actually go back with ctrl z and refine this modeling before we would add the spin tool and yeah pretty much this is it's a very useful tool for the bottles and glasses okay I will apply this and it's done thank you for watching and if you have any questions or if you want any further tutorial on uh, if you have any demands on tutorials, please write below.